was sort of the, you know, sometimes unfortunately colloquialized use of OCD as, as an adjective, like, oh, my, you know, so-and-so is so OCD about their appearance, their hair, their clothes. And it's sort of thrown around a little bit flippantly just to express someone who takes something very seriously or is very organized or something. But, you know, that, that doesn't quite capture the distress uh, the genuine distress and debilitating effects it can have on someone's life who's really locked in a cycle of like, no, I feel like if I don't, you know, wash my hands seven times or repeat something in my head in a very prescribed ritualistic way or walk three steps forward, three steps back, then four, then four, or something like in a very uh, specific and sometimes otherwise arbitrary way, if I don't do that really in my mind, something terrible could happen. And even if part of me knows that that doesn't make sense or that doesn't seem rational, I just can't tolerate the possibility that that could happen. You know, OCD wants 100% certainty uh, uh, for what we want or what we don't want to happen. And the reality is we live with, you know, some uncertainty every day. And those of us who aren't suffering actively with OCD sort of take that for granted or just can tolerate that most of the time. But people with OCD sort of wear down the, the mental and emotional ability to do that in certain contexts.